This will be for the con exercise, one-sided limits from graphs. Okay, function H is graphed. What appears to be the value of the limit as X approaches 4 from the negative side of H of X? So to translate this, see this negative sign right here after the 4? What they are asking for this right here, what they are asking, what does the Y value approach as X approaches 4 from the negative side? All right. So in the previous exercises, the limit had to match from both sides coming from the left and the right. But in this case here, you see this little negative sign. That means we are only coming from the negative side and approaching X equals 4. All right. And we want to see what the Y value approaches. I put that in all caps because we are just tracing the graph. We're not trying to evaluate the function at X equals 4. We want to see what the graph approaches. And in this case, from the negative side, because there's a negative sign. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's the X axis. Here's X equals 4. And there happens to be an asymptote there. But we don't need to worry about it, really. We are only going from the negative side. So we're going to x, x equals 4, x approaches 4 from the negative side only. Okay, so we're coming from the left. If we trace the graph to x equals 4, right here, the y coordinate of this point is y equals 3. So that's it. It does not matter that there's a hole in the graph. Okay, we trace the graph and we see that it is approaching this point here. And it does not matter what it approaches from the other side because we only said from the negative side. So that's it. All right, so y equals 3. Okay, function h is graphed. y equals h of x. Here it is. What appears to be the value of the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the positive side, okay? So we're looking to go to x equals negative four, but only from one side, the positive side, okay? So that means we're coming from the right. Okay, the positive side, you're just looking at the x-axis. This is the positive side. So we're coming from this side over here and we're going to x equals negative four. Okay, there happens to be an asymptote here. And let's see if I can get the entire graph in the picture here. Good enough. All right, so we are headed to x equals negative 4, but only from the positive side, which is from the right. We're not doing it from the other side. So let's see, here's x equals negative 4. We're tracing the graph from the right, and we can see the graph. As it approaches negative 4, the y value just goes to positive infinity, okay? It just keeps going up. So I believe they call that unbounded, okay? The answer is not going to be positive infinity. It's going to say unbounded. All right, so let's take a look. I'm pretty sure that's one of the answers and not positive infinity. Okay, so as you can see, these are all numbers and the final answer is unbounded. Okay, there is no positive infinity, so it's unbounded. Okay, function H is graphed and here it is. What appears to be the value of the limit as X approaches six from the positive side, okay? We're going to x equals six, but only, see this plus sign? Only from the positive side. So we're coming from the right-hand side, the positive x values. All right, so right here is x equals six, and we're approaching x equals six from the positive side only, all right? So coming from this side, tracing the graph, we end up right here at x equals 6. The y-coordinate right here 
is going to be y equals negative 5. Does it matter that it approaches a different point from the other side? No, it doesn't matter. We are only doing it from the positive side. That's why the title is one-sided limits. We're only coming from this side here. So y equals negative 5. Last one, function f is graphed. Okay, here you go. What appears to be the value of the limit as x approaches negative 5 from the positive side? Okay, we're headed to x equals negative 5, but only from the positive side. So we're coming from the right-hand side. All right, so let's look for x equals negative 5. If you trace the x-axis, here is x equals negative 5. It's that right there. So we are going to x equals negative 5 from the positive side. All right. So tracing the graph from the positive side. All right. We're coming to x equals negative 5 right here. And the y coordinate is y equals 3. Does it matter that there's a hole in the graph? No. Does it matter that it approaches a different point from the other side? No. We're only doing it from the positive side. So y equals 3.